Hi everyone and welcome to the latest in our Ask the Expert videos. My name is David Pike, otherwise known as the Connector Geek, and today we are going to be looking at the subject of reliability. And often when we talk about reliability in the world of connectors, most people naturally start imagining the kind of high reliability products that you might find in aerospace or in high performance applications. But the fact is that everybody who designs electronics needs to be able to rely on the products that they choose, whether they are high expensive, high reliability types or the more everyday products that we rely on. There are connectors that might not be on the cutting edge of the latest technology, but they have an enviable track record when it comes to reliability and performance across a whole range of industries. These are terminal blocks and solderless terminals. To find out more about these subjects, I'm joined today by a couple of gentlemen from Molex. I'm joined by Chip Walsh and Greg Farnsworth, and, and hopefully they're going to be able to fill us in a little bit on these products. Chip, Greg, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Thanks, David. And so let's start with the big question. In a world of advanced connectors where everything is getting smaller or faster, what makes terminal blocks and solderless terminals so popular still in everyday design? Well, I think, David, it's it's actually quite simple. Both products have been around for over 70 years, which in and of itself is a testament to the reliability of those products. But probably most importantly is the ease of use. It is very easy to use either product uh, to terminate uh, a wire to either product. In fact, in many cases, a uh, wire is terminated to a solderless terminal, like a ring tongue terminal, and then connected to a barrier strip, uh, such as what Greg has. So these products are, are used in millions of different applications around the world, and they have been for a very, very long time. So um, if they weren't reliable, they wouldn't have stuck around all these years. They're also very cost effective, uh, which makes them, you know, uh, really an awesome product for people to use the simplicity the ease of use and very cost effective uh, just to check on to that uh, you know it's for me it's rudimentary in turn and trust so i i always like to use the example with respect to terminal blocks how do you connect the wire that's in your thermostat in your home to the heating element whether you have a boiler or some sort of a forced air um, heating system or a cooling system. Well, is usually a terminal block uh, in, the, in the heat plant, plant, and then there's a terminal block in the thermostat. And then you connect the wire in between them, to, in, in between the two, and it's done very simplistically, uh, sim simplistically in the field by the technician, using, generally using a screwdriver uh, to tighten a screw uh, uh, to set the wire in place. So again, years and years of use uh, and simplic simplicity are uh, are generally the case and why these products are chosen. So and that's key, isn't it? The, the trust that people have in these products that have lasted and, and continue to work. But what is it that makes these technologies so reliable? Is it the simplicity or is there something clever going on in there? So for my product, the solderless terminals, uh, the key to the reliability is in the crimping, the termination of the wire to the terminal itself. This is very, very important. If not done properly, you don't have a reliable connection, which is why uh, these products are, are typically covered by a UL listing uh, to UL standard 310 or UL standard 486. Both of those are very specific in terms of of the crimp strength, uh, also known as tensile. And it's it's very, very important to have the proper crimp, which is why the products are UL listed with the associated crimp tooling, with the recommended tooling from the manufacturer. This is what's key to the reliability, the long-term reliability of the solderless terminal products. It really boils down to getting a good crimp, a solid crimp that will last many, many, many years over many cycles. Yeah, and David, with respect to terminal blocks, it's it's a similar uh, scenario that Chip had described in terms of uh, from one 
connector manufacturer to another, we, we all subscribe to the same UL standards. For terminal blocks, it's UL standard 1059. It's very common, again, uh, it's a well-known uh, standard specific to terminal blocks. And within those, uh, those elements of the standard, as criteria that every connector manufacturer must adhere to so that the product is deemed reliable. Uh, for example, if you have a terminal block that utilizes a screw for termination, there are uh, UL torque values that say, if you tighten the screw to its uh, specific torque value, you are assured of its reliability and safety elements. So again, you know, those, there are commonalities from one connector manufacturer to a next that provide that reliability and assurance that, again, we must all adhere to as a manufacturer. I think that's a really interesting and important point that customers need to bear in mind. So the fact is, when we're talking about even if it's a product as, as familiar as a terminal block or a solderless terminal, we're not just talking about the product itself. It's part of a system, isn't it? It's the, the system includes the crimp tool or the hand tool that you're using, the, the correct settings, the wire that goes into it. Everything comes together to make it reliable. It's not a case of just picking a product and throwing it at a, a design, is it? That's correct. Now, I know that Molex doesn't stand still. Molex is a company that, that continues to innovate. So even in this familiar world, solders, terminals, terminal blocks, how is Molex developing these established products and, and bringing them up to date and, and providing new features for customers? So in solderless terminals, we have several different ways of ensuring the long-term reliability of that crimp. And again, it all comes back to the crimp because that is really the key and, and one of the things that's most important. So we have a line of heat shrinkable terminals uh, called our Permaseal. And that is, is after crimping, you actually shrink the insulation around the wire, in uh, the insulation on the wire itself. What this does, it is it actually adheses that insulation to the wire, uh, making it virtually impossible to pull that, that uh, crimp or pull a crimp apart, if you will, pull the wire out of the termination area. It also seals that termination area. And why is this important? Well, because in many cases, the wire, the conductor of the wire is bare copper. And what happens to bare copper over time? It corrodes, it oxidizes, turns green, and ultimately can lead to high resistance and failure. So by sealing that area, especially in, in harsh environments, uh, tough conditions, um, it's, it's important to uh, protect that, that crimp. It's not just as simple as making a good crimp, but it's also protecting that crimp. Another area Molex has enhanced the termination area is with our AVA crimp, or some people refer to it as AVI crimp. It is simply a contraction of the words anti-vibration crimp. So this has not only a crimp for around the conductor of the wire, but it also crimps around the insulation of the wire. So what you really have is a double crimp, and many customers refer to it as just that a double crimp. So now you've strain relieved the actual termination point. So any vibration in the application, even micro vibrations, are not transferred uh, through the wire to the actual termination itself, causing strands to break potentially, and again, uh, causing a high resistance, which can lead to thermal runaway, which can lead to catastrophic failure in some cases of not only the termination, but literally cause fires. So safety is the ultimate, um, you know, key for Molex products. So we have several ways to, you know, ensure the reliability, not only of the crimp itself, but of protecting that crimp, protecting that termination area long term. Uh, so David, if I understand you correctly, you know, what, what is the, the evolution of of terminal blocks, um, connectors in general, and trying to meet the, the demand of how customers want to use them. Uh, one of the uh, key elements for terminal blocks is uh, it, the, 
the vast majority of them are used on printed circuit boards. And the printed circuit board market in terms of those manufacturers who are processing printed circuit boards are moving more towards automated processes on how they push the board through uh, the solder process. Um, these modern processes are known as uh, reflow solder processing. They're done at uh, much higher temperatures. And in order to react to that, uh, terminal blocks have had to move into um, higher temperature rated plastics. And so, uh, you know, at Molex, we are evolving uh, our board level connectors uh, to utilize more of those uh, high temperature plastics uh, to meet those requirements as, as our customers uh, move towards these more automated processes um, that demand such um, uh, materials to be used with the connector. This is really interesting because one of the things that we, we've talked about up till now, we've been talking about using solderless terminals in, in, for example, domestic heating. But what you're saying is that, that, that these products, both solderless terminals and terminal blocks, are these are high reliability products in, in harsh environments, in tough conditions, uh, which, which goes away from that, that you know, thinking that they are common or garden, that they're normal, that they're boring. These are products that are working in some of the, the, the exciting applications we're finding today. What applications are you seeing? What interesting things are these things being used for in today's market? Well, certainly one of the, the emerging markets, and it, it's actually, um, you know, been around for several years, but with the implementation or the, the acceptance of the electric vehicle, uh, moving away from the internal combustion engine, going to uh, battery powered vehicles. So you, you see a charging infrastructure that is growing. It's kind of in its infancy right now, certainly here in the U.S., um, and it will grow exponentially over the next several years with billions of dollars being invested in it. And it's using simple products like solderless terminals and terminal blocks. So that's exciting for, for Molex. The whole area of clean energy, um, both products have been used extensively in both solar and wind power applications for, for many, many years. And as that continues to proliferate, uh, the, the whole clean energy getting away from fossil fuels, um, solderless terminals and terminal blocks will, will play a key role in uh, that, that evolution. Yeah, Chip is absolutely right. I mean, it is an exciting um, movement in, in terms of where Molex is, is trying to uh, position itself. Uh, in terms of uh, having the the right products that match what the customer is using in in that type of environment, from battery storage again to wind, solar, uh, even in on on vehicle itself, um, Molex is trying to evolve its terminal block designs so that it's their usability in those applications are simplistic. Uh, there are continual tweaks that we, we have the ability to do and that we need to do in order to match those types of, of demands that the, that the customers certainly uh, need to utilize uh, on, in that space. And one of the things that I wanted to touch on, we, we talked about it when we were planning for this call, um, and something I'm seeing a lot in other parts of the industry uh, when it comes to terminal blocks, there's lots of people talking about, about screwless terminals. Is that something that Molex is involved in? Yes. Uh, and, you know, we there whether it's uh, utilizing a push button or the ability to just take the wire itself and, and just slide it in and have it be trapped into the contact. So there, the, the common theme is sort of a, a wire trap or a spring trap um, that has to either be actuated by a little push button or some sort of a lever. And certainly uh, as the demand for the connector is to be simplistic in the way it is actuated it is something that we are closely paying attention to and, and trying to have the right product in the right position for our customers to choose from. Well, that's brilliant. And, and I think one of the key things that I think people should take away from this is that while 
terminal blocks and sold list terminals may be products that have been around for a long time, there's a really good reason. These are the, the original field connectable connectors. These are, these are things that can be used by engineers on site. Um, and as Greg's just said, with things like the, the sold list terminals, these are devices that can be used without the need for complex tooling or expensive tooling, making them ideal for field installable applications. Their simplicity is something that we, we can't look away from. The fact that they are so reliable and so simple and they can be used in these new and exciting applications. We've talked about electric vehicles. We've talked about new energies. These are topics that are obviously on, on everybody's mind at the moment. And the fact that these same technologies can be used in these new exciting applications speaks well of their reliability, of their simplicity and the fact that people can still use them. And at the same time, we've talked about the new innovations, things that are changing to make these products even more useful in the modern environment, whether it's sealing against harsh environments or whether it's making it a rapid termination device for, for the latest manufacturing techniques. These are products that have a real future in the high tech, in, in the high tech markets that we play in, even though they are the simple products. If you need to find out more, there is tons of information that we can provide. If you go onto the RS website, there is lots of information about the Molex offering in both sold list terminals and terminal blocks. And there are lots of products to choose from, whether it's small pitch, fine pitch, or high power. There's lots of different things that you can find. We have more information about both the technologies and the applications here on Design Spark. So there's plenty of talk about these latest applications, EVs. Uh, new energy and all sorts of other things. So please do feel free to, to browse through Design Spark and see how these technologies can be used and how these products can be used in those markets. Um, I'd just like to say thank you so much to both Chip and Greg for spending time today to talk about this, which on the surface might not be the most exciting product in the world, but I actually think they pretty much are. They are something that everybody uses. You open up almost any piece of equipment you will find versions of this type of connector. And I think lots of people will want to know more about them. Chip, Greg, thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, thank David. You, David. And thank you for watching. Do please go and find out more information on DesignSpark on RS Web. And I'll speak to you next time.